another episode of Jurassic World Alive! I know, I know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are back, yes. Uh, and wow, do we have a lot of stuff to cover. We've got a new update showing new Omegas that are coming, as well as some weird glitches. Because it can't be a, you know, a Jurassic World Alive video without some weird glitches. So I just want to start off with that first. So you may realize, uh, if you just look at my screen, which way is it? I don't know. If I go into my data thing, we've got Dracovenator, Diabloceratops, Stegoru, Steg, Stegorius, and Toro. Which I've, you know, I, I never thought that I would ever use the tracking thing. But seeing as they've put in, you know, the, the Omegas that are trackable, um, it seems to be the way forward, especially with the new update. But hopefully I'll put it up in... Yeah, is it there or is it there? I don't know. It might be there. <laughs> um, now, I was out yesterday and I was on my bike and I thought, you know what? Before, you know, the day clock's over, let's start some Omegas. Because I have darted none the last week. So it was Sunday and I went, you know, let's do it. Let's start some dinos. Let's start some Omegas because every week, if you didn't know, on Monday... Um, it resets the amount that you can dot. I thought to start with, there was an unlimited amount of Omegas you could dot. And I thought that was really cool. Because not only do you get 12 for a direct hit at level 20, but, you know, they cost a fortune to level up. So, uh, lo and behold, I think the first week I dot as many as I could and they just stopped appearing. That's why. However, in the video I'm showing you, I go off to find Toro, because Toro has just recently been put into the map, and it disappeared. And I thought to myself, okay, how about we go to where Toro, it said Toro was, and maybe it'll it'll appear. Because I have, like I said, I haven't dotted anything. Uh, I get there, and nothing. Nothing. I cycled uphill for like 10 minutes to get nothing. Uh, and it was 15 minutes. It said it was going to expire in 15 minutes. So I thought what I would do is I'll cycle back. I'll cycle back home. And would you believe, when I get home, or near home, it pops up again. And it's like, no, no, no. We're here! I lie! <laughs> but it wasn't just uh, Toro that it was doing it for. It was pretty much every dinosaur. The Diablos would disappear after 400 meters. This one, as you can see, is probably around about the right distance. So if I if I get below 400 meters, it disappears. Uh, I know if, just, if it's just me. I want to know if anyone else is having this issue. Uh, so leave in the comments down below, if you are, because... I, I got in contact with my contact at Ludia and said, look, I, I, I all my Omegas are disappearing when I get close to them. Or cl close, it's 400 meters away. Um, and they're within their range. I, I, you know, I did the tracking on and off and everything. And they said they had no idea, didn't know what, what that was. But hopefully in two weeks, when there's a new map update, that should fix everything. I, am I just getting two weeks of just no Omegas? I don't know, because I, I, I'll put up a video as well, I darted Dracovenator today, and there was a Diablo Ceratops next to it, I'm not, not too far away, and I, now it could have been a case of, it was close enough where I could cycle to it, um, so it wasn't like, you know, it was going to vanish, now it could have expired, but it disappeared once I darted the Dracovenator, and a lot of other people have mentioned, when they dart one dino, everything else vanishes, so... A little bit of a teething, like early days sort of teething issues that they're having, it feels like, anyway. But, now we've got the three, we've got the Toro, there's, there's Triceratops and Diablo, sorry, Diabloceratops and the Stegorus, or whatever it's called. But, they are hunkering down. They are, they are double downing on this Omega shenanigans, because if we go into here... This is the release 3.0.30 update. Why is there so many decimal points? I don't know. <laughs> right, okay. So the new feature is Omega Training. Now we knew about, you know, that a bit like the the what do you call them? The new guys, the um the the green ones. I can't remember what you call them. The green uh, whatever, ultra rare, uh, those guys that you could get extra um, things on them, extra power-ups. But when evolving any Omega creature, players will receive training points for that creature. With these points, players can customize their Omega creature stats. Choose the stat you want to upgrade and add training points to increase it. So, yeah. Well, not only, I'm assuming, do Omegas have boosts applied to them, but they now also have training points. 
Sand. Not only are we getting training points, they're adding a whole new stat. Just you wait. This is it. You know about too many cooks spoil the broth? That saying? Too complicated? No fun? We're getting there. We, we've already hit there, I think. Uh, the fact we have stun, which early game makes sense. But late game, no. And not everything's immune to stun. Anyway, anyway, I digress. Uh, although this makes creatures more customizable than ever. Great. Uh, <laughs> each Omega creature also has limits to the stats you can apply in each column. Now, you have critical hit chance. And critical hit to start with in the game was 50%. You do extra 30% of damage. Now, dinosaurs, depending if they get a critical hit, they do a certain amount of damage. It's not widespread over everything. Apparently, I'm assuming everything will get its own amount of percentage damage. It does, and it deals to a dinosaur when it gets that critical hit chance. Um, so more than ever, we're gonna start seeing battles that if you get a crit, it, it could be the... It, that could be the game right there. Like, 5% chance to crit, but maybe you do, I don't know, 150% extra damage or something. And you've basically lost to, you know, what you shouldn't have lost to. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, it, it's just getting more and more complicated by the day. We have this. New dinosaurs. So, uh, they're not just dinosaurs. They're Omegas, because this is Ludia's new favorite to go to. Um, we have Clever Girl Omega. Now, an ambush hunter, this Velociraptor has been known to work with pack mates posing as bait to take out its sometimes human prey. I'm assuming this is, of course, in reference to Robert Muldoon, who was attacked from the side. Uh, however, Clever Girl. I mean, it's what Robert Muldoon says before he dies, but it's not the actual raptor's name. The raptor is only referred to as the big one. Especially the big one. Uh, and that's, again, by Robert Muldoon. And it's sort of soft canon that it's been known as the big one. Within the fandom, we know it as the big one. Um, but to call it Clever Girl, <laughs> I'm leveling up. Clever Girl. <laughs> no! It should be like if it, if it kills something. You just hear in the background, Clever Girl. Or something like that. I don't know. That could be a cool little Easter egg. Um... But it's, it, the dinosaur is literally called the big one. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Uh, Clever Girl is cunning, high damage dodger. So it's a jammy git. Uh, <laughs> and the other one is we are loving the new Nihonji no Kyoryu. Basically Japanese dinosaur. Because it's, it's been a lot like China was the place for dinosaur discoveries. And you had a lot. That's why I have a lot of Changosaurus and Yang Changosaurus. And all these Chinese sounding names. Now we're getting... Japanese sounding uh, names because they are from Japan and uh, Japan hasn't really had a great deal of discoveries in comparison to the rest of the world It was nice to see we're seeing some coverage there. discovered in the Fukui prefecture of Japan uh, Fukui Raptor is a member of the enigmatic clad Megoraptora these are a group of medium theropods resembling both large carnivores like Tyrannosaurids and the smaller more slender raptors So we're getting two raptors and I'm assuming it's just gonna have the raptor animation to be cool if it didn't and it had its own unique, but that was one of the selling points. When you added a new dinosaur, it could look completely different. Anyway, elimination strike, pouncing and bite, which is 1.5 damage. And I'm assuming reduction, uh, like, like a normal pounce. Uh, you gain a dodge and you gain armor. Uh, persistent counter, that's it. So after every time you get hit, you increase your attack. Doesn't say for how much or whatever. Evasive impact, which would be 1.5. Cleanse yourself, gain a dodge. And a dig in on escape. So, if you switch out against this dinosaur, it will gain a shield. I'm assuming a shield could be invincibility. It will gain health. And it will also gain speed. Um, but uh, whether or not it'll lock you down, not too sure. I, I would imagine it wouldn't want to. But anyway. And the other one is a Uxiosaurus. Uh, Yuxisaurus means Yuxi lizard. <laughs> okay. Named for the Yuxi locality of China, uh, where its fossils were discovered. So we're basically, this, apart from the big one, we're getting Asia representation of dinosaurs, which is quite nice. Um, discovery of the Yuxisaurus in 2021 proved the presence of the armored Ornithischian dinosaurs. Oh my god, all these Latin names. Theriophora. Uh, in Asia. Okay, so 
maybe it's a big discovery. Maybe it's it's showing that actually that species of dinosaur did make it that far to, or at least in um, not Pangaea because this is long after Pangaea broke up. But you know, in the prehistoric world, uh, it's a territorial strike, which I'm assuming it gains armor. It does bleed and it goes through dodge. Oh, sorry, um, armor, which is great. Resilient rampage, always a good one. Love to see that. Uh, payback rampage. Interesting. Could be one of those where below a certain health, um, it locks you in, it gains health, and it does damage. Lesser wound encounter. Okay, so it's probably going to do 0.25 damage when it gets hit. It'll hit you with that 0.25 damage, give you vulnerability, and bleed you a little bit. And the same as the uh, Fuku Raptor, it will gain all those perks if you swap out against it. It's spiked protection. Interesting. It kind of looks like a move. I mean, the easiest way to differentiate whether something's a move or a counter is just change the shape. Instead of having circles, have triangles. I mean, you kind of do it with a square there. So, how will you find these dinosaurs? Find the Omegas, Euxiosaurs, and Fukui Raptor uh, by exploring the map. But, find Omega Clever Girl in exclusive events. Now, Toro started out as exclusive events. Uh, however, they just were like, eh, put it on the map. Whatevs, who cares? <laughs> so, interesting, interesting. But, now... Omegas are the, you know, they're the, the newest fantangly thing. Look shiny! <laughs> it's a tangle in front of us. And they are incredibly pay to win by the looks of it. If, it. if anyone gets it to level 30, beware. It will have boosts on it. It will have its training points. And it'll have so many amazing other abilities that, you know, they've spent on it. However, how expensive is it to get them to level 30 and how much dna do you need to have in order to get it to level 30 well let's have a quick look okay so this was generously uh put up on the facebook page uh by alien newt gaming uh and who's had a thank you so much for the amount of time and dedication that you have given uh, in order to show us this. So basically, as you can see, it's a stack, I was gonna say, it's stacked. It's a stepped, staggered progression uh, in order for the amount of DNA to get. Now, I don't know how they know this because the, sure as hell, no one's got any of these to level 30, but maybe it's just a guess that, okay, it's gonna jump up this much each time. So, you know, the final level 20 before it gets into the next level, you've, of course, you've got common, you've got rare, epic, um, freaking legendary oh not omega i don't even know it's it's oh i don't know what the green one's called again and then uh, apex <laughs> uh so that's interesting and each new one except for the final one unlocks an ability now the abilities need to be um what do you call it they need to be uh paid for as well so it's not enough just to level up the creature you have to pay extra coin and maybe even dna to get those uh levels unlocked so you've also got toro and uh, that's the Toro, sort of. It's exactly the same. I think all these... And because on the map, there's only so many that you can dart. You've only got... I don't know. It, it seems to update every week. I, I don't think they've really felt out the right amount. But, you know, this sort of thing, it's, it's, it's like, well, you've got to choose one if you want to get one all the way to the top. But if you do that, you might end up accidentally picking a really bad one. Uh, so, honestly... The safest way to do this is just to dart a variety, you know, dart five of each or whatever. But that does mean that none of them are really going to be used until, I don't know, three years time? Maybe four? Because <laughs> this game loves putting in stuff that will take an eternity to, to use. I, I don't know why, man. I don't know. It's, it's, it's so disheartening. You know, I've played this game since 2018, and that is now five years, and I don't have, you know, the best creatures in the game, or at least leveled up to that state. And every two, few months, they add in a new thing just to keep you down there, you, you, you know, a new dinosaur that's in the meta, and it's a terrible business practice for the fans, for the players. Um, but apparently they don't show any signs of stopping, and just every time you think it, it, it can't get any worse. And this is the latest, biggest, baddest thing they put in. They outdo themselves by putting in a whole new creature. And a new class. And a new system. And they limit the amount that you can get in the wild. And also limit the amount of DNA you can get from them. And also in my case, 
You can't even find them. <laughs> Let's jump back into the game. Beavers, how are you doing? Are you doing good? Uh, I'm surviving. Just. Anyway. So, I mean, this is what my map looks like at the moment. We've got the Pyroraptors, uh, Red Nordus. Uh, and we also have the bird, actually, because I do only need 50. And then I can get that to level 30 before eventually I bench it for something better. And all that time is wasted. The only dinosaur in this entire game that has seen some semblance of use in the meta throughout its, in, you know, the whole lifespan of the game is Dilochirus, this thing. Um, it was, when it was first implemented, it was so freaking good. Then it sort of, after it was nerfed, it just became a raid thing. And now it's, it's, it's back there. I mean, I got into Nublar Shores with this thing. Um, the only problem is it's, it's a hard thing to counter. And if you don't have the right things, you're screwed. It's a bit like flocks. If you don't have the right counter for a flock and your team is just unequipped for it and the flock can regenerate itself, it's, it's, it's sucky. It's, it's big bad. Uh, but, I mean, this is my team at the moment. I would love to switch out some things. I'm kind of working on some of those raptors. But again, there's just that niggling feeling in the back of my head that it, this will eventually happen, that I'm not, you know, I'm going to level these things up, and before I know it, they're not going to be used. Like this thing. I have a thousand of it. I could get it to... I don't know, like 26 maybe? I'll, maybe I'll eventually get level 30 and then it'll just be switched out for something else. And it just kind of sucks. <laughs> I hate that that's how I feel about it. Uh, but I, you know, I did dot another Dracovenator. Is Dracovenator any good? And the problem with this is that coin is so hard to come by. To level up that Dracovenator, 100,000. To put that in perspective, you can only get 15,000 from a regular uh, supply drop. And you can only, oh God, yeah, these weird glitched gates that you can't spin the things with. And these ones, you can only get 7,000. So you're talking about, you know, 23,000, 22,500 that you can get per day. You know, so, I mean, if you really, really spent hours on this every day, you could, you know, level a dino up like that uh, every five days. And that's only for 100,000 coin. Yes, you get the coin chases, which I think gives you another 25,000 uh, coin. But it's just... I can't do anything. I'm being limited in every aspect. That's how I feel. I don't have the DNA for the things because I can't dart them. Because that that you know they're so hard to get the DNA of. And then if I do get the DNA, I can't level them up. Because I don't have the coin. <laughs> And, you know, take it from me, I play this game every day. And while I dribble jabber on, let's do one of my favorite things about this game that they have done right. Now, a lot of people have wanted lobbies. Wait, are they are they adding it in, in the update? I think they are actually adding an update for the clan so you can actually better communicate. Um, but, like, I had a lot of people who would invite me to raids or and stuff like that. And thank you, everybody, who's helped me out in the past. Um, there's been a lot. I know David uh, Donuts has been one that invited me a lot to these raids and helped out. But at the, because of time zones and stuff, it's just a lot easier for me to, when I do have the time to play this game, to just go random lobby. <laughs> uh, and not a lot of the time, I seem to get paired with people who know what they're doing because the people who you know, are doing the Toronto Valkyrie raid and have one in the past, know what dinos are needed. Look at this. This is a good team. You got the Rexy to get everyone's attack and hit everything. I don't know why the bird's there. The bird is always there though. The bird works. Um, and of course me to heal. And this is something that, you know, it takes coordination normally with other people on, on Discord to get everyone arranged. So you can kind of guarantee that you're going to win. However, this? Complete randoms. But we all know what we're doing and we're just going to be able to do this. <laughs> um, so what I wanted to do, it, like before I knew about the limitations on, well, may as well hit everyone, go on, why not? Uh, before I knew the limitations on the Omegas and that there's only a certain amount you can get per day. And then also going out to Dart Omegas and not being able to find any. Uh, it's kind of put a spanner in the works when it comes to live streaming. Because I was wanting to get on my bike, 
cycle around, chat with you guys, dart the dinos, and have fun. But uh, apparently can't really do that because, for one, can't find them, and two, I need to make sure that it's on like a Monday when uh, like they reset. So until until I know I can dart them and. I, well, we can't do it. <laughs> we can, unfortunately. I try to spice up the... Wait, did we just kill it in one? That's normal, isn't it? That is normal. I forget. Yeah, you can just kill it in one straight away. Right. Knocked out. Also, there's an Isla event, which I think gives you Toro DNA. And I've only done two battles. Now, I don't know if it's ended. It might have ended. If it has, that's, that's a bugger. But otherwise, eh. I mean, do, do I really need to go for a heal there? Not really, but... What is his name? Omega-09? Or is that from... Jurassic World the game? That could be from Jurassic World the game. Let's have a look. What is your name again? Morton Rex, isn't it? Yes, I knew it. I knew it. Ferocious strike. Not the birdies. Oh, actually, it's kind of good for me. Because I'm going last, so I'll heal the birdies. Right, that's a lank we're gone. Uh, this one's... Should have just went for the, the biggest hit, though. I mean, you're going to do a lot of damage, I suppose, but... Oh, you hit everybody. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and a little bit of a hit there. We heal everyone. And we just save our, you know, our big hits. Or, you know, what we did the first... Oh, I... Oh! I can't actually heal him. Okay. So T-Rex will go for his massive hit. Omega... Sh oh, sorry. Morton Rex should go for his massive hit. I'll go for my massive hit. The, uh, the birdie will go for its heal, and then I think we're good. That's, you know, did the attack. One, two. Normally, everything's a two cooldown. Three's a bit excessive, so I think we should be good. And like I said, you, you know what, depending on what dinosaur you're using, you know how the battles go. There's not really too much. If you're going for a dealer Kairos, you know you just got to look out for when everyone's low in health and go, heal. <laughs> if you know you're Rexy, just wait for the first move, when, you know, the first turn, hit everything. And then after that, just kind of like, feel it out. So, I don't know if we have killed him. I don't think Morton's going to be able to. But we'll kill him next turn. And as long as no one wastes their hit all minion moves and boosts attacks, we should be good. Right. Uh, oh, never mind! 12,000 damage! Woo! That's a... That's a big win. Okay. Yes, you're about to die. I mean, do I need to go for anything? I don't... I don't really think so. He healed a little bit. Yep. Yep. And... I think... Oh, he's disconnected because he knows he's won. He's like, ah, whatever. That'll do. <laughs> uh, also, I noticed that this game is deliberately putting, like, rare emotes in the, like, £100 incubators. Or the $100 incubators. Lydia knows what they're doing. They're like, eh, hey, someone will want to buy our incubators if we put a really cool emote in. <laughs> I would have. But the, the phone call for the Jurassic Park 3 mobile was wrong, so... Lost down £100 there, Lydia. Oh, well. Uh, this should be the kill at 20,000 damage. <laughs> there you go. Now, that took two seconds. You know, really. I, I, I like, two lobbies in... Now, the minimum you can get is 15. I don't know what the max is. Max could be 50, but I, I don't think we're going to get it. But let's have a look. Come on, we're so close. It is 25 halfway. And then we get a level 30 banana beak. Yes. Gorgeous. Anything nearby? Uh, no, not really. Nope, nothing, nothing interesting. Ah, it's all good. Okay, so easy event. Come on. Now, what's really good is that I... I I realized that if you fail the event, you can spend 300 bucks and you can reset it and have another chance, another shot at it, which is quite cool. I think I made lots of mistakes. As you can see, the two really good healers on my team are basically dead here. <laughs> um, so I'm not expecting much, but what's great is, you know, there's not a Toro Moloch, there's not a Dino Kairos here to heal, uh, which is a bit of a bugger, but I didn't realize that the Styracosaurus... I wonder if I level it up if it'll fully heal or if it'll just get a tiny bit of health back. Uh, where are you? Oh, good. You're quite low. Oh, thank God. So instead of 100,000, it's 80,000. There we go. Level 24 for you. Nailed an extra health. 
Let's have a look. I feel as though we'll only get the, ex you know, the added on extra health, really. Um, there's a lot of dinosaurs I'd love to level up. But, and also, when it comes to getting the, um, what do you call it? These things. <laughs> Sod it, man. It's 15,000. A single pop. That's basically if you spent all day, got all of the coin from every incubator that you could. It's almost all your coin. And you could do this three times a day. Meaning that if you gather all your coin, you can't do it. You can't do three a day. You will make a, a deficit, you know, negative of coin. You will start losing coin. Even if you got as much coin as you could. I don't know, man. You don't need to be a genius when it comes to economics to realize that the actual system isn't working. The amount of coin that you get per day, including incubators, it's not enough in order to level up dinosaurs, get these modification things, uh, pay for, for like the market. I don't remember the last time I bought anything in the market because the amount you have to spend, real money, you know, set that aside, but bucks to get anything, it's just not worth it at all. I would rather just save my bucks and then use it on something that I might need, like when I did this and I paid a couple of thousand bucks to get all of those guys. That's gonna be way better for me. I'd like to say the best bet is to start with the Styracosaurus thing, but I don't know if it is. Uh, but you know what, we'll Who knows, who knows? Hope it's a raptor, not Tyranno. Okay, good. I think this thing does have a... a oh wait, it's faster. Oh, ooh, okay, okay. Uh, is it immune to stun? It's not! And I have a 75% chance to stun! Let's go! Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about this. What's my resistance on that? 50%. I might be okay. Did I stun him, though, at least? Yes, I did! Okay. Please survive the bleed. Please survive the bleed. Ah! Well, at least I can get some health back. <laughs> uh, I mean, he's stunned. There's nothing he can do. I'll just go for this. Go for that. Next turn, get a massive hit off. And hopefully recover my health. There's nothing he can do. I will be quicker. He's going to bleed a little bit. Hopefully it switches out. I'd love if it switched out. That'd be really good. Uh, I've got increased attack for three turns. Damn. Okay, I'll take that. How much damage we do? 4,000. Okay. Okay, we lost Styracosaurus Lux, but we've gained a lot of health for, I think, three turns. Four turns even. Ooh, this is a shame my biggest attack is an auto swap. <laughs> kind of not what I want. Um, but you know what? We, 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 <sighs> 1,160. Ferocious Rampage does 2,000. We have to just kill it, get out. Uh, well, we gain 600 health, I suppose. Boom! Yes! I love to do the event from start to finish to see how far it... Oh, invincibility? When swapping? I didn't know that. <laughs> I never used this guy. Uh, ah, definitely dead. Because you'll probably have a massive attack. 2,100. Oh, maybe not. Uh, oh, I can't swap. Oh, oh. Oh, and a crit. Oh, definitely dead, yeah. <laughs> oh, he just needs to kill one more. Uh, okay, okay. Indelacan has no chance to get health back at all. Oh, no, it does. Oh, never mind. I forgot about that. Oh, also, oh, that's a crit. Oh, so close. Brody's a little level higher. Damn. Um, yeah, I didn't realize. I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's right. With Devour, what they should change it to is, you know, normally it's the next turn that you gain health back. It should just be at the end of that turn. Because a lot of times when I kill something, I'm like, okay, get the health back. No, because the game's over. So I, I don't know why they made it on the ne on the start of the next turn. You get the health. It'd be way better at the end of that turn you gain health. Maybe after bleed, but then get the health. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's my rant and update on the game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.